Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week three of the NFL preseason right now with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Joe Duffy, just the consummate professional handicapper, and he has the results to back it up. His most recent results in our videos, 16 and 9 against the spread in the first two weeks of the NFL preseason with us. Those are free picks documented in our videos, but he's been doing this with us for quite a long time, giving us winners for a long time. 56% against the spread in the NFL during the regular season last year. Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, thank you, Peter. Actually, you were no, you were 27 and 14 against the spread in the NFL in the regular season last year, 56% uh, overall. But uh, quote some stats from your site, uh, your, your premium picks at your site, how they've been doing, and brag a little bit just in general about offshoreinsiders.com. Yeah, the truth is anybody who cares what we've done over the years, uh, they're with us permanently for years in the past and for years to come. But a lot of people want to ride the hot hand. We are 11-5 and five with preseason picks as we follow this report before the Thursday night game. 11-5 and five in the NFL preseason. And probably by the time you see this, it's going to be a little bit better. But again, the hard work continues to pay off. Not only the intel we tell you here, visit the site, get the plays. We always, always reveal the sharp player intel that we have at offshoreinsiders.com. Cleveland is a two and a half point favorite. That's down a bit from three. And, uh, you know, just Manziel Mania is just going, it's just exploding out of control, even in the preseason. The total is 43, and that's up from 42 and a half. So uh, some money came in on St. Louis, and some money bet this line, bet the total up. And, uh, you know, we know the deal with St. Louis. They're probably looking to this game to, uh, to just get out um, without, with, just get out without uh, having any key injuries. Their defense is also looking very strong. And we know that, the, that, the, that Cleveland, despite the hype around Manziel, is, you know, playing more of a ball-controlled offensive game plan. At least uh, that's what reading from the reports they're going to do. So I'm thinking, I don't know about the spread, but maybe the under 43 is the play. Is that what you like here, Joe? We do agree there. Okay. I mean, Hoyer is only 8 out of 20, completing 40% of his passes. Manziel, we know, you know, I, I know one of the big debates is, is Manziel the backup quarterback because of his poor player, because of, yet again, he's just using some dumb decisions, you know, flipping the bird, which in and of itself may not be the worst thing ever done, but he just has a long series of doing dumb stuff, and, and I think it might be as much to do with discipline. But, yeah, the Cleveland has not gotten very good quarterback play. Um, we're riding them early saying that they actually had a legitimate quarterback competition, but so far in the first two games, it really looks like not who's going to win it, but who's going to lose it. And Manziel has done a little bit more to lose it. But the Rams, not just that, but we're going to quote our golden rule when it comes to handicapping totals. It's a lot more about pace than it is about offensive or defensive competence. The Rams are still trying to be a throwback team, despite the fact that they're going to enforce those rules this year. The Rams are saying they're going to be a ball control team. And with the fact that Cleveland's offense has been so-so, the Rams playing ball control. Uh, it does look like that uh, the Rams will get Michael Brockers, who had 46 tackles last season. He's going to probably play for the first time, although James Laronitis will likely not make his debut still. St. Louis has a strong front seven, and uh, everything does point towards the under, both the pace and the fact that uh, you know the defenses are really better than the offenses in this game. All right, that's what I'm thinking. And uh, the question then is just why it has the total been bet up? And maybe that can be due to purely Manziel mania. All right, under 43 it is. Thanks so much, Joe.